Okay, hey guys, it's me, Will. Um, vlogging from a different perspective, um, camera angle. Um, I'm on my bed right now and have my phone propped up against, uh, actually my old phone propped up against my pillow and I'm on my bed just different different angle um just just trying something new so anyways um in my last video I was going to review my iPhone 12 well things have changed um within one day I was having so many issues with the iPhone 12. Um, it wasn't letting me... I would have to log completely out of apps and re-log in in order to continue watching, you know, streaming shows and stuff like that. And I was getting very frustrated with it. So... I, in turn, took that phone back to T-Mobile, where I got it, and, um, and, um, the sales associate was trying to sell me on keeping the iPhone, but I was like, you can quit your sales pitch because I'm not satisfied at all. So, I gave the phone back and I got a LG B60 phone 5G and it's an awesome phone. Now LG is not sponsoring me, neither is T-Mobile. Um I've been with T-Mobile. We have a family plan, a military plan because my dad was in the military. For basically forever. Um, he, he's been to Nam. He volunteered to stay longer in Vietnam. He got out. Um, did some other jobs. Was an LA police officer for a while. Hated it. Um, went back to school. Did some odd jobs. Tried to sell cars at one point. But got fired. Because he, he's not a salesman. He, uh, and then right before I was born, he got back into the military and which was a good thing because when I was born, I was born not healthy. I was born with three holes in my heart and I needed surgery and my parents only had to come up with about $500 to pay and the army paid the rest for my surgery like over thirty thousand dollars um because if my parents had to pay for it themselves i wouldn't be here right now so um and my parents went through a uh before my mom got pregnant with me um she was pregnant the year before and had a miscarriage so if they lost me, that would be two babies in a row, and I don't know if my parents would have recovered. So, um, and my brother, John, he, he's the oldest, him and his wife, um, lost their first baby, Liam, um, and he was born, but the cord got wrapped around his neck, and he lost oxygen, They st and the nursing staff was not paying attention, so they're at fault. My brother and sister-in-law could have sued and really cleaned up, but they decided not to. Anyways, to get off that sad note, uh... 
end that rant, that tangent. <laughs> um, I'm going to review the LG V60. I am currently recording on my old LG phone, the LG G7 Thin Q. This is an LG V60 Thin Q. It's a little bit bigger than the G7 in length. Um, width is about the same. Um, and um, it opens up on to this screen right here. And as you can see, you can see my baby, Charlie. And you can swipe and there's some of the uh, apps. You can't really see that. Well, there we go. Um, there's like an app called Tubi. T-U-B-I. It's an awesome app you should prop you should get it again there nobody is sponsoring me none of these things are sponsoring me but to be t-u-b-i it's all lowercase um it's an awesome app where you can stream it's another streaming app where you can stream uh they have the 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo. They have the new Scooby-Doo mysteries. Those are the only two Scooby-Doo shows that they have currently. Um, let me double check that. Yep, only two. Um, and... Let's see. Let me get back to that page. Okay. When you open up the, the the app, you it usually shows this line called recommended. Um, it's usually shows and movies that they think that they recommend you watch. Um, there's Garfield and Friends, but when you click on it, it's not the regular show you think it is. It's all the specials. Like the TV specials, like a Garfield Christmas, a Garfield Thanksgiving, Garfield Gets a Life, Garfield Goes Hollywood, Garfield and His Nine Lives, Garfield in Paradise, Garfield in the Rough, Garfield's Babes and Bullets, Garfield's Feline Fantasies, Here Comes Garfield, Garfield on the Town, Garfield's Halloween Adventure. And that is, they say is season one, but it's pretty much all the TV specials, um, which is awesome. And what's really cool about this phone is that to get back, you just slide from the side uh, on my old phone. They have an arrow, a circle, and a square, where the arrow is the back arrow. The circle takes you back to your home page, and or whatever page you were on, whatever screen you were on. Um, uh, they have shows like Popeye. They have the classic show Alf, um, all four seasons. Um, they have Pebbles and Bam Bam show. They have Archie's Weird Mysteries, uh, The Addams Family, but it's not the 90s version of The Addams Family. It's the 1970s Addams Family. Um, they have Inspector Gadget, um, and let's just see how many episodes. They have 20 episodes. Um, and I know that's probably not all the episodes, but you at least get 20. Um, they have movies like 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. Uh, they have Stuart Little 2. They have Rock Dog. They have Pound Puppies. It's not the classic Pound Puppies. It's more updated. Um, they have uh, Rankin and Bass special called Jack Frost. Uh, Shaun the Sheep movie. Um, the Little Bear movie, if you remember Little Bear from growing up. Um, anyways, um, this is basically the app Tubi. Um, to get to more apps, you, uh, I'll show you. You slide up and you have more uh, apps. Um, some apps I'm going to be reviewing for you. One of them is a paid for, you have to pay, um, like five bucks a month, but it's called Boomerang and it has so many different, um, shows on there. So many different characters, like they have Tom and Jerry, Adam Ant, Baby Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny, Vanicula, Camp Laszlo, Captain Caveman, Care Bears. Not the classic Care Bears, but a more updated Care Bears. Codename Kids Next Door, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Daffy Duck, Droopy, um, Dorothy, it's a show about Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, um, the Flintstones, when you click on Fred Flintstone, they have the Flintstones, the new Fred and Barney show, Flintstone Frolics, Cave Kids, Captain Caveman and the Teen Angels, the Flintstone Kids, and the Pebbles and Bam Bam show. Um, when you slide over from the left, it shows the movies, um, and it shows a bunch of movies. Let's see, there's also Foghorn Leghorn, Garfield. This is where it, this is where Garfield and Friends, the actual show, is. Um, I haven't found it on any other streaming app, but it's all the episodes, and what's best about the app Boomerang is that when you're watching a show and it goes through the end credits, it automatically goes to the very next episode. So it plays the next episode automatically, which is great. I recently found that out. I've had this app for off and on for a couple of years now, a year, year and a half, two years now, and, uh, and it's, and I just discovered that, um, which is awesome. They have My Gym Partner's a Monkey, Huckleberry Hound, The Jetsons, Johnny Quest, Josie and the Pussycats, Juniper Lee, Looney Tunes, McGill Gorilla, MGM Cartoons, There's another one, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's spelled M-O-N-C-H-H-I-C-H-I-S. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, they have Popeye, they have Richie Rich, Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner, Scooby-Doo. They have pretty much all the Scooby-Doo shows. They have the new one, Scooby-Doo and Guess Who. Sco the classic, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? A newer one, well, not a newer one, but uh, from from a few years ago, Be Cool, Scooby-Doo. That is one of the best Scooby-Doo shows, in my opinion, because the how the animation is very different, how they drawn Scooby-Doo, Fred, Velma, Daphne, and... Shaggy. They really drew them very differently, more current, and they made Daphne the com comedy relief, which 
is pretty cool. In the first episode, she always brings something to the show each episode. The very first episode, she decides to bring, uh, to make and bring puppets of her friends and of Scooby and the completely, you know, where it's just going to get in the way and it's just hilarious. Okay. They have Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. They have Shaggy and Scooby-Doo Get a Clue. And that one only includes Shaggy and, of course, Scooby-Doo. And it's definitely drawn differently. Um, I haven't really watched a lot of it, but apparently Shaggy's uncle is extremely rich. And he leaves... Um, He's going somewhere, and he basically leaves his mansion and his fortune to Shaggy, and they basically get to do, they have to fight this evil guy named Phineas Fines, and, um, and whenever Scooby-Doo gets on an experimental Scooby snack, he changes from, like, really, really, really small to who knows what. You don't know until he has that Scooby snack in each episode. They have the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries. Now, with the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries on this app, it's, um, some of them, they are very short, where they find the out the mystery within 11 to 12 minutes and you and of course it starts with the title sequence but it also um but on Tubi watch it I I recommend watching it on Tubi because it automatically um it has two Two separate mysteries, and it begins with Scooby's birthday, and it's two different parts. So I I recommend you watch it on Tubi, and not on unless you want to be having to go through the title sequence and everything else, because it takes a little bit longer. Um, they have Scooby's All Star Laugh Olympics. I haven't watched much of this. Um, but it has a bunch of other Hanna Barbera, uh, Hanna Barbera characters like Yogi Bear. Um, let's see here. They have Yogi Bear. Um, uh, Huckleberry Hound, Yogi Bear and Boo Boo. Um, You get what I'm saying. They are trying to... They're in an Olympics. And they do certain Olympic events. And whoever wins... It could be Scooby's team. It could be Yogi's team. It could be, you know, the villain's team. Who knows, you know. But, of course, the villains always cheat. And sometimes it doesn't work out for them. But, you know... What do you expect from villains? The next one is the Scooby-Doo show. Now that's an older uh, show from like the 1970s, I believe. And it deals with different, it's half hour shows, um, deals with different ghosts and, you know, monsters and you know, basically Scooby-Doo. You know the Scooby-Doo formula for this. Um, there is 40 episodes. 40. 4 0 oh, 40. Um, they're all really good. Uh, there's a ton. They're a ton of fun. Um, and I super enjoy it. They have the new Scooby-Doo movies. But here, they only have 15 
of the original 17, but there's also more where they don't have all of them. There are some that deal with... Now, they usually end up meeting celebrities like the Three Stooges, Don Knotts, Dick Van Dyke, um, and Batman and Robin, but this is the old Batman and Robin from like the 1960s to early 70s. Um, oh, what's his name? Jonathan Winters, um, Laurel and Hardy, the Harlan, Harlem Globetrotters, you get what I'm saying. But there's, on this app, there's only 15 of them, of the movies, and they're about 45 minutes long, um, 40 to 45 minutes long, so... Um, if you are in the mood for movies, classic movies, go for it. They have a pup named Scooby-Doo. Now, I love this show. It's basically the, it's the Scooby gang who are, um, younger. They're basically middle school age, like 12, 12, 13 years old. And, of course, Scooby's a puppy. And they solve mysteries in in and around Coolsville. They, with their city where they live. Now, the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo is next. And this is basically about a chest full of the world's, like, most dangerous, meanest, evilest ghosts in the history of evil. And they need mortals, people who are alive, to um, open the chest. Now, of course, who do you think they get to open the chest? Shaggy and Scooby. So, they spend... Now, it's Shaggy, Scooby, Daphne, and Scrappy-Doo. And they also have a newcomer named Flim Flam, a little boy who is basically a hustler. Um... And they, there's only 13 episodes because there's only 13 ghosts. And it's it's an okay show. Next is Scooby and Scrappy-Doo. Now this one is a little different. Because there's only, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. There's about 12 to 13 actual episodes involving the entire Scooby gang. And then there are a lot that are just involving Scrappy, Scooby, and Shaggy. And there, it comes with volumes. Right here, volumes. And there's 11 volumes. So, it's basically like one, It then it goes into segments where it's about 11 minutes long, 11 to 12 minutes long. And that's the episode. And then it goes on to another 11 to 12 minutes long. Um, uh, segment. Little episode. And there are tons of movies on here. There's Scooby-Doo and the Legend of the Vampire. Scooby-Doo and the Goblin King. Scooby-Doo, Mask of the Blue Falcon. Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase so on and so forth there are there's a ton of movies there's one that scooby-doo's adventures the mystery map that is done with puppets which is really awesome um 
So it has... They have it. this app chocked full of Scooby-Doo. If you're a Scooby fan, get the app because you're going to enjoy it. Again, nobody is sponsoring me. I'm just reviewing. And also reviewing, reviewing this phone. They have the Smurfs. They have Sylvester and Tweety. They have Tom and Jerry. They have Top Cat. Wacky Races. Yogi Bear. And tons and tons of movies. Tons of cartoons. Tons of really fun stuff. And that's the app Boomerang. It's about... It's $4.99 a month. And it's a great app to have. And I'm... And it's worth every penny. I swear. It's worth every penny. Then, of course, you have Disney+. Plus. And Disney Plus has pretty much a buttload of sh different shows, movies, shorts, uh, live action stuff. Um, and they even, there's a new, brand new Pixar movie called Soul. I haven't seen it yet, but, um, but it's supposed to be like one of those movies that comes out in theaters. But since we are in the midst of a pandemic still, um, they streamed it on Disney+. Plus. Um, they even have the, um, the musical Hamilton on Disney+, Plus, and that is a great show. It's fantastic. Check it out. And, um, they even have all the episodes of The Simpsons, including up to the current, I believe. Um, they have The Avengers, they have Star Wars, Star Wars The Mandalorian, they have nostalgic movies from, like, way back, like, from the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, like, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Robin Hood, Pinocchio. They have a ton. Even from the early, from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, possibly. You know, they have, they have a ton of stuff. There's even an, a part where you can add stuff to your watch list. Um... And I have a ton of stuff. They have a bunch of throwback shows like Phil of the Future, Lizzie McGuire, That's So Raven, Recess. Um, they have a lot, a ton of options. They even have this series called Crash and Bernstein deals with live action actors and a puppet, which it's, check it out, it's hilarious. Okay, now I'm going to review HBO Max. They have a bunch of Cartoon Network shows like The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. They have Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Um, they have the Scooby-Doo show. Uh, they have Rick and Morty. They have a ton of shows. You can actually add them to, to your list. And they have HBO Originals and... They have a they have a ton. Now, more on the phone. The phone is great. The camera is awesome. The um the screen is clearer. It's five G, so stuff downloads like that, and it's awesome. You can do so much um, with this app, I mean with this phone, um, and I have this app on here called Storage Space, and there it is, and on the bottom here it says Files. And you click on the files, the 
delete. And this phone comes with 128 gigabytes, which is awesome. It's double from the 64 gigabytes that I had with the G7. So, um, there you go. Uh, I have a lot of other apps on here. Uh, I have Target. Um, I have Little Caesars. I have this one app called Likey. Uh, it's spelled L-I-K-E-E. -E. It's basically like TikTok, but it's it's a fun little app to have and enjoy. Uh, I also have like Netflix on here, Peacock, which is the NBC streaming app, um, Roku, which is has a bunch of shows on here. Um, they have Crackle. Um, which has a bunch of shows. Um, Film Rise has a bunch of shows. Um, Hulu, of course. Everybody knows about Hulu. And they have a bunch of shows. It depends on your the plan you choose and pay for. Um, I can also go to Google. I can check my email. I can go to eBay. You know, I can do a lot with this phone, a lot more with this phone than I could with my old phone. So, basically, that's pretty much it with the LG V60 ThinQ, um, my review, and um, just so you know, I really enjoy this phone, and I really enjoy... Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a bit long, but I wanted to get as much information out there about this phone out there, you know, so other people can get this phone. So, anyways, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, subscribe. And leave a comment down below of what you think. Or if you have a question. I read all my comments. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. Well, however you celebrated it. with If you, you celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Uh, any type of way you celebrated. Even if you celebrate Christmas traditionally. Um, I hope you all had a very fun, safe, wonderful holiday and New Year's, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.